All right, so I have been carrying this Travax accent, ascent. Does anybody know what in the hell this thing is called other than badass? Whatever, I've been carrying this for a little over seven months, and I thought it was about time that uh, we revisited this thing. Make sure to check out the links below. I definitely appreciate all the support. Uh, today's topic is going to be care and maintenance of the Travax wallet. Now, if you follow my Instagram, you may have seen recently uh, that I forgot to take the wallet out of my pocket when doing laundry. First tip on caring for a Travax wallet, don't put it through the washing machine. When I pulled my laundry out of the washing machine, uh, I found my wallet soaked all the way through. Um, the leather was stretched out and I was a little bit worried it wasn't gonna go back to normal. If you end up finding yourself in the same position as I did, uh, what I did to fix the problem is I pulled everything out of the wallet. I soaked it in a bowl of hot water for, I don't know, probably about 10 minutes. I patted it dry, loaded everything back in my wallet, and I put it on top of the refrigerator overnight just for it to dry out and kind of shrink back down around all of my cards. One of the problems with getting leather wet is that when it dries out, uh, it tends to get this rough, almost crusty texture to it. That's where tip number two comes in, mink oil. Now, a good high quality leather is gonna need conditioned from time to time. As long as you do that, uh, it's gonna last you a lifetime. My suggestion would be to use a little bit of mink oil, I don't know, every three months or so, just to keep it soft. It keeps it from drying out and cracking. It keeps it from getting that kind of rough, crusty uh, texture to it. Um, overall, oiling up leather is an absolute must if you expect it to last any longer than a couple of years. Now, even if you don't do what I did and accidentally put it through the washing machine, um, your wallet's in your pocket daily. It's in there soaking up sweat. I mean, it really, that's not any good for the leather. So the best thing that you can do is take a glob of this mink oil here, take everything out of the wallet, put a nice generous coating all over it. I'm not a big fan of the way mink oil smells. I actually think it's pretty disgusting. Um, but the smell will wear off after a little while. I go ahead, put a nice coating on there. I like to rub it in a little bit, make sure that it gets into the pores of the leather. And just like that, we're good. Um, once I have a nice coating on there, I'll go ahead and sit it off to the side for an hour or so. When I come back to it, I'll go ahead and I'll wipe this coat off of there. Then I'll take another clean dry cloth and I'll give it one more wipe down just to get any excess oils off of the leather. Once you oil it up like that, you're good for, I don't know, probably the next three or four months. Um, after the washing machine incident, I put quite a bit of mink oil on the wallet. It took probably two days or so. Um, after that, the leather softened back up again. It was nice and smooth. Um, everything was formed back to the way that it was before. My cards didn't feel like they were um, gonna slip out of there, out of nowhere. I'll leave a link below for my preferred mink oil if you wanna check that out. Another benefit to keeping your wallet oiled up is that it is going to add a certain level of protection against moisture. So that's gonna keep all your cards and everything that's inside of it safe. So now that I've had this thing for, you know, seven, eight months, um, the big question is, is it worth it? Is $70 too much to pay for a minimalist type wallet that's essentially a metal frame that's been covered in leather? I don't think it's too much to pay. I actually think that the wallet is worth more than uh, what Travax charges for it. Your average leather wallet is gonna cost you, you know, anywhere between 60 and $80. Chances are, even though it says genuine leather, uh, it is a thin layer of you know, who knows what raccoon squirrel leather glued to some sort of material shaped into a wallet. It's gonna last you three, four years and it's gonna break down and start falling apart. That's not what this thing is. It's high quality leather. Every wallet is handmade. They're made here in the United States. Actually, 20 minute drive north of me. I should probably get up there and uh, check them out one of these days. This is the kind of wallet where when you buy it, you should probably put some thought into 
who it is that you're going to pass the wallet on to when you're no longer here because it's going to last that long. Um, I have no doubt that the wallet is going to outlast me as long as I keep it oiled up you know it's probably gonna get handed down to my son and he, you know he's gonna have it for God knows how long but it's gonna last that long the stitching is ridiculously high quality it's way overkill but that's why it's gonna last all in all I'm more than happy with my Trayvax wallet if I had to do it all over again I definitely would I'm actually considering ordering a black one just so that I can mix it up a little bit have a brown one have a black one um, switch back and forth every once in a while if you're on the fence about whether or not you should make the purchase um, just do it go ahead and buy one um, it's gonna last you a long ass time you're gonna love it um, they're great wallets and that's about all I got to say about it. We'll check back in here in another few months and see how it goes. Don't be surprised if when we come back, I still love the wallet just as much, if not more, than the day that I got it.